Hello everyone, welcome to tech2.com. In this lecture, we are going to summarize two phase locking protocol in a small video. Okay, and we know that we have four kinds of two phase locking protocol. We have basic two phase locking protocol, conservative two phase locking protocol, strict and rigorous two phase locking protocol. So now let's compare all of these locking protocols. So here to start with basic 2PL. So in basic 2PL we have growing and shrinking phase. Okay, first thing is we have growing and shrinking phase. Now in growing phase a data item is locked but not unlocked. Right? When we say two phase, two phase means we have two phase of locking. Right? While locking you cannot unlock and while unlocking we cannot lock a new item. Okay? So here we have two phase when transaction starts then transaction starts getting locks okay and meanwhile it can execute operations in between when it starts unlock at this point okay so when this is the shared lock I'm writing SL with shared lock so this is lock point right this is where this transaction gets final lock so this is lock point now from here it starts unlocking so shrinking phase starts right and you keep on unlocking meanwhile also you can perform some operation right so this was the idea in basic two phase locking right but due to this we realized or we got the problem of deadlock as well as cascading abort right so here to avoid the deadlock we introduced conservative 2PL in conservative 2PL the idea is to acquire all the locks before we start the transaction okay so if a transaction is going to use a b c variables okay then first transaction asks for lock on all the data okay once the lock is granted then transaction starts okay so that's why it doesn't have any growing phase okay simply it gets all locks and then it starts the transaction so it has shrinking phase but it doesn't have any growing phase okay so this was conservative 2PL and in conservative two phase locking protocol we were able to avoid deadlock now in strict 2PL we have this growing phase but the idea is to avoid cascading abort okay so just to make the schedule recoverable or strict what did we do? We removed or we released this exclusive lock only after commit. You can see that this lock on A is exclusive right here. Lock on A is exclusive. So we can remove locks which are shared. Okay. But the exclusive locks are only removed after this transaction is this is committed. Fine. So this was the idea in strict 2PL. That's why the next transaction, I mean, if we walk as a schedule, the next transaction will only be reading correct data, not the dirty data, because we are removing, removing this exclusive lock only after commit. See this. The point is that if A on A we have acquired exclusive lock, it means that I'm going to perform a write operation right correct so i'm going to perform a write operation on a that's why i have acquired exclusive lock it means that all those data which are having exclusive lock has been written by some transaction right in that case some other transaction should be allowed to read only if this data has been committed okay the changes has been made permanent right so that was the idea here Finally, in regress 2PL, this thing is also not allowed that we can unlock shared locking, right? Here you can see that before transaction end or before commit, we can release shared locks. But in regress 2PL, even this is not allowed. When transaction ends and it is committed, then simultaneously we release all the locks okay so we release all the lock at once and that's why it doesn't have any shrinking phase 
but it does have growing phase okay so these are the main thing about two phase locking now here you will have i mean in basic 2pl you have deadlock okay so here you have deadlock problem and you have cascading rollback okay so both are there right but in conservative 2pl all locks are acquired first that's why we don't have deadlock problem but we do have cascading rollback situation fine so deadlock is resolved here but cascading rollback is there in strict 2pl we take care of cascading rollback but deadlock is there and cascading rollback cascading rollback is taken care of similarly here also in rigorous 2pl deadlock will be there okay it is there but we take care of cascading rollback fine so this is all about two phase locking and now in next lecture we will solve some example on two phase locking so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching